This is a recording of an article on Wikipedia and was recorded by user Popular Outcast. The material recorded is current as of the May 17, 2008 revision of the article. Same-sex marriage in Spain from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Same-sex marriage in Spain was legalized in 2005. In 2004, the nation's newly elected socialist government, led by President José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero, began a campaign for its legalization, which would include adoption by same-sex couples. After much debate, a law permitting same-sex marriage was passed by the Cortes Generales, Spain's bicameral parliament, composed of the Senate and the Congress of Deputies, on June 30, 2005, and published on July 2, 2005. Same-sex marriage officially became legal in Spain on Sunday, July 3, 2005. The ratification of this law has not been devoid of conflict, despite support from 66% of the population. Roman Catholic authorities in particular were adamantly opposed to it, criticizing what they regarded as the weakening of the meaning of marriage. Other associations expressed concern over the possibility of lesbians and gays adopting children. Demonstrations for and against the law drew thousands of people from all parts of Spain. After its approval, the Conservative People's Party challenged the law in constitutional court. Approximately 4,500 same-sex couples married in Spain during the first year of the law. Shortly after the law was passed, questions arose about the legal status of marriage to non-Spaniards whose country did not permit same-sex marriage. A ruling from the Justice Ministry stated that the country's same-sex marriage law allows a Spanish citizen to marry a non-Spaniard regardless of whether that person's homeland recognizes the partnership. At least one partner must be a Spanish citizen to marry, although two non-Spaniards may marry if they both have legal residence in Spain. The following is a listing of the contents of this article. Section 1. History. Section 1.1. Ratification of Law 13-2005. Section 2. Reactions. Section 3. Opposition Court Challenges. Section 4, Residency Issues. Section 5, Marriage Statistics. Section 6, See Also. Section 7, References. Section 8, External Links. The following is an info box which accompanies this article and gives a summary of the main information about same-sex marriage in Spain to supplement the arrangement of information in this article. Same-sex marriage in Spain was passed by the Spanish Parliament. The long title of the law is Ley 13 2005 por la que se modifica el Código Civil en materia de derecho a contraer matrimonio. In English, that is, Law 13, 2005, that amends the civil code regarding the right to contract marriage. It was introduced by President José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero of the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party. The law was passed on June 30, 2005. The date signed into law was July 1, 2005. Related legislation is the Spanish Civil Code Law on Assisted Reproduction. Section 1. History During the 1990s, several city councils and autonomous communities had opened registers for civil unions that allowed benefits for unmarried couples of any sex, although their effect was mainly symbolic. By then, Spanish law already allowed single people to adopt children, thus a same-sex couple could undertake a de facto adoption, but the partner who was not the legal parent had no rights if the relationship ended or the legal parent died. Same-sex marriages were illegal in autonomous communities because the Spanish constitution gives the state sole power to legislate marriage in Spain. On June 30, 2004, Minister of Justice Juan Fernando López Aguilar announced that the Congress of Deputies had provisionally approved a government plan for legislation to extend the right of marriage to same-sex couples. This would fulfill a promise made by President José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero at his inauguration. 
Lopez Aguilar also announced two propositions introduced by the regional Convergencia y Unio Party of Catalonia. One introduced legal status for both opposite and same-sex common law unions, also known as parejas de hecho or de facto unions, while the other permitted transgendered people to legally change their name and sex designation without the requirement of surgery. The bill regarding same-sex marriage was approved by the cabinet on October 1, 2004. It was submitted to Parliament on December 31st and passed by the Congress of Deputies on April 21, 2005. However, the bill was rejected on June 22, 2005 by the Senate, where the opposition People's Party held a plurality of the seats. It was returned to the lower house, which holds the power to override the Senate, and which gave final approval to the bill on June 30, 2005, with 187 yes votes, 147 no votes, and four abstentions. With the final approval of the law on July 2, 2005, Spain became the third country in the world to formally legalize same-sex marriages nationwide after the Netherlands and Belgium. The first same-sex wedding took place eight days after the approval of the law. It was celebrated in the council chamber in the Madrid suburb of Tres Cantos by Carlos Baturín and Emilio Menéndez. The first same-sex marriage between women took place in Barcelona 11 days later. In spite of these steps toward equal treatment, there was still a legal flaw. Children born within a lesbian marriage could not be legally recognized by the non-biological mother, who still had to undergo a time- and resource-consuming process of adoption. The right was granted to heterosexual couples, married or not, where the male partner, who was not the biological father, could recognize such children without further process. On November 7, 2006, the government amended the law on assisted reproduction, allowing the non-biological mother to recognize children born within a lesbian marriage. Section 1.1, Ratification of Law 13-2005 The projected bill announced on June 30, 2004 by the Minister of Justice was studied by the General Counsel of the Judiciary, Although the General Counsel admitted that the existing discrimination against homosexuals could not be condoned, it was quite critical about extending marriage towards same-sex couples, including collateral adoption. It argued that the extension was not demanded by the Constitution, and that ending discrimination could be achieved through other legal means, such as a regulation of civil unions. Despite this negative report, the government presented the proposed bill to Congress on October 1, 2004. With the exception of the People's Party and members of the Democratic Union of Catalonia, the different parliamentary parties favored the reform. On April 21, 2005, Congress approved the projected bill with 183 yes and 136 no votes and six abstentions, including a member of the People's Party. The bill to allow same-sex marriages in Spain was short. It added a new paragraph to Article 44 of the Civil Code, saying that matrimony shall have the same requisites and effects regardless of whether the persons involved are of the same or different sex. In accordance with constitutional provisions, the text approved by the Congress was then submitted to the Senate for final approval, change, or veto. On June 21, 2005, experts were called to the Senate to debate the issue. The experts' opinions were diverse. Some stated that gay adoption had no effect on a child's development, except for perhaps a higher tolerance towards homosexuality. However, psychiatrist Aquilino Polaino, called by the People's Party as an expert, called homosexuality a pathology and a mode of disorder. Among other assertions that generated debate, he claimed that, quote, many homosexuals have rape abuse antecedents since childhood, end quote, and that homosexuals generally come from families with, quote, hostile, alcoholic, and distance, end quote, fathers, and mothers who were, quote, overprotective, end quote, toward boys, and, quote, cold, end quote, toward girls. Prominent People's Party members later rejected Bolaino's assertions. The Senate vetoed the text submitted by the Congress. The veto was proposed by the People's Party, 
which held the majority of the seats, and by the Democratic Union of Catalonia, and was approved by 131 yes and 119 no votes and two abstentions. As a result, the text was sent back to Congress. On June 30, 2005, it was approved by Congress, which, in accordance with the constitutional provisions, overrode the Senate veto. This was achieved with 187 yes votes, including a member of the People's Party, Celia Villalobos, 147 no votes, and four abstentions. The veto override implied its approval as law. The vote was held after Zapatero unexpectedly took the floor of Parliament to speak in its support, saying, We are expanding the opportunities for happiness of our neighbors, our colleagues, our friends, and our relatives. At the same time, we are building a more decent society. Mariano Rajoy, the leader of the opposition People's Party, was denied the opportunity to address Parliament after Zapatero's appearance and accused Zapatero of dividing Spanish society. When the media asked King Juan Carlos if he would endorse the bill that was being debated in the Cortes Generales, he answered that he was the King of Spain, not of Belgium, a reference to King Baudouin I of Belgium, who refused to sign the Belgian law legalizing abortion. The King of Spain gave his royal assent to Law 13-2005 on July 1, 2005. The law was gazetted in the Boletín Oficial del Estado on July 2nd and came into effect on July 3rd. Section 2. Reactions A poll by the government-run Center for Sociological Investigations, or El Centro de Investigaciones Sociológicas, published in April 2005, reported that 66% of Spaniards favored legalizing same-sex marriage. Another poll taken by Instituto Opina a day before the bill passed placed support of the same-sex marriage bill at 62.1% and support of adoption by same-sex couples at 49.1%. An Instituto Opina poll taken nine months after the bill passed said 61% agreed with the government's decision. However, the bill's passage was met with concern by Roman Catholic authorities, including Pope John Paul II, who warned of a weakening of family values, and his successor, Pope Benedict XVI. Cardinal Lopez Trujillo, president of the Pontifical Council for the Family, said the Church was making an urgent call for freedom of conscience for Roman Catholics and appealing to them to resist the law. He said every profession linked with implementing same-sex marriages should oppose it, even if it meant losing their jobs. Gay rights supporters argued that while the Roman Catholic Church also formally opposed opposite-sex, non-religious marriage, its opposition was not as vocal. For example, the Church did not object to the marriage of Crown Prince Felipe to Leticia Ortiz, who had divorced from a previous civil marriage. The church was unable to gather enough support to derail the bill, even though 80% of Spaniards identify as Roman Catholic. Sociologists believe this may be due to the significant increase of liberalism in the realm of individual rights in recent years, where the church traditionally had most influence, especially on family issues. A poll showed that three-quarters of Spaniards believe the church hierarchy is out of touch with social reality. A complementary explanation might be that the church's influence on Spaniards has declined since the death in 1975 of the dictator General Francisco Franco, whose regime was closely linked to the church. Opinion polls suggest that nearly half of Spaniards now almost never go to Mass. President Zapatero responded to Catholic criticism by saying, There is no damage to marriage or to the family in allowing two people of the same sex to get married. Rather, these citizens now have the ability to organize their lives according to marital and familial norms and demands. There is no threat to the institution of marriage, precisely the opposite. This law recognizes and values marriage. Aware that some people and institutions profoundly disagree with this legal change, I wish to say that like other reforms to the marriage code that preceded this one, this law will not generate bad results, that its only consequence will be to avoid senseless suffering of human beings. A society that avoids senseless suffering of its citizens is a better society. 
in any case i wish to express my deep respect to those people and institutions and i also want to ask for the same respect for all of those who approve of this law to the homosexuals that have personally tolerated the abuse and insults for many years i ask that you add to the courage you have demonstrated in your struggle for civil rights an example of generosity and joy with respect to all the beliefs on june nineteenth two thousand and five there was a public protest against the law protesters led by the people's party members spanish bishops and the spanish family forum or foro espanol de la familia said that they had rallied one point five million people against what they considered an attack on the traditional family the government's delegation in madrid counted a hundred and sixty six thousand at the same event two weeks after this protest coinciding with gay pride day f e l g t or federación estatal de lesbianas gays transexuales y bisexuales the spanish lesbian gay and transgender organization estimated two million people marched in favor of the new law police sources counted ninety seven thousand both marches took place in madrid which at the time was governed by the conservative people's party spanish bishops also claimed that the government by equalizing same-sex and opposite-sex couples weakened the meaning of marriage which they defined as a couple of different sexes the Spanish Family Forum expressed concern over the possibility of gay couples adopting and raising children, and argued that adoption is not a right for the parents, but for the adopted. Gay associations replied that de facto adoption by same-sex couples had existed for a long time in Spain, since many couples were rearing minors adopted by one of their partners. Adoption by same-sex couples was already legal in Navarre, Asturias, Aragón, the Basque Country, and Catalonia, before the same-sex marriage law legalized these adoptions nationwide. These associations also argued that there was no scientific basis for the claim that parents' sexual orientation would cause developmental problems for their adopted children. This view is officially supported by the Spanish School of Psychology, which also states that homosexuality is not a pathology. This section of the article is accompanied by two images. The first image has a caption of Gay March Celebrating Pride Day and Legalization of Same-Sex Marriage. The second image has the caption Traditional Marriage Supporter Showing Banner, quote, Marriage Equals Man and Woman, end quote. Section 3, Opposition Court Challenges. On July 21, 2005, a judge from the city of Denia refused to issue a marriage license to a lesbian couple. The judge also filed a constitutional challenge against the same-sex marriage law with the Constitutional Court based on Article 32 of the Constitution that contains the phrase, quote, men and women have the right to contract marriage with full juridical equality, end quote. In August 2005, a judge from Gran Canaria refused licenses to three same-sex couples and mounted another constitutional challenge. In December 2005, the Constitutional Court rejected both challenges owing to both judges' lack of standing to file them. On September 30, 2005, the Opposition People's Party decided to initiate a separate constitutional challenge, causing division within the party. There is no outcome as of late 2007. On February 27, 2007, the Spanish Family Forum presented an initiative signed by 1.5 million people to legislate marriage as the union of a man and a woman only, thus effectively prohibiting same-sex marriage. The initiative was rejected by the Spanish Congress. On May 30, 2007, the aforementioned judge of Denia was condemned by the Disciplinary Committee of the General Council of Judiciary Power, or Comisión Disciplinaria del Consejo General del Poder Judicial, to pay 305 euros for refusing to marry a gay couple, and was also strictly warned against doing it again. She attributes this action to the, quote, propagandistic machinery, end quote, of the government. Section 4, Residency Issues Shortly after the law was passed, questions arose about the legal status of marriage to non-Spaniards after a Spaniard and an Indian national living in Catalonia 
were denied a marriage license on the grounds that India did not permit same-sex marriage. However, on July 22nd, another judge in Catalonia married a Spanish woman and her Argentinian national partner, the first same-sex marriage between women in Spain. This judge disagreed with his colleague's decision and gave preference to the right of marriage over Argentinian law not allowing same-sex marriage. On July 27th, the Junta de Fiscales de Sala, a body within the public prosecutor's corps that advises the Minister of Justice's office, issued an opinion that lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, LGBT, Spaniards can marry foreigners from countries that do not permit same-sex marriage. The marriage would be valid according to Spanish law, but did not imply automatic validity according to the foreigner's national law. A ruling published in the official state bulletin stated, begin quotation, a marriage between a Spaniard and a foreigner, or between foreigners of the same sex resident in Spain, shall be valid as a result of applying Spanish material law, even if the foreigner's national legislation does not allow or recognize the validity of such marriages, end quotation. According to the instructions from the Ministry of Justice, or Dirección General de Registros y Notariado, Spanish consulates abroad may carry out the preliminary paperwork for a same-sex marriage. At least one of the marrying partners must be a Spanish citizen residing in the consular demarcation. However, the marriage itself can only take place at the consulate if local laws recognize same-sex marriages. Spanish consulates in Boston, Brussels, Amsterdam, Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, and Cape Town as of March 2007. In all other cases, the partners must marry in Spanish territory. Two non-resident foreigners cannot marry in Spain, as at least one of the partners must be a Spanish citizen. Two resident foreigners can do so. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption, Maps showing variances in laws on homosexuality. Section 5, Marriage Statistics. On September 4, 2005, the conservative newspaper La Razón published data from 273 out of 430 offices of civil registry showing 24 same-sex marriages had occurred to date out of over 35,000 marriages. The paper argued that the data contradicted the justifications of the government, making the law a main priority of the legislature, as well as claims from gay rights activists that the law would benefit 5 to 10 percent of the population. On December 27, 2005, the Minister of Justice reported that 327 same-sex marriages had been registered by December 5th in the 200 civil registries that were computerized at the time out of a total of 437 civil registries in Spain. Among them, 90 were in Madrid, 63 in Valencia, 35 in Barcelona, and 18 in Seville. In the rest of the country, same-sex marriage and heterosexual marriage were not differentiated in the total number of civil marriages. In early March 2006, Pedro Cerolo, a senior PSOE official, announced that more than 1,000 same-sex couples had married. 800 marriages were recorded in the fully computerized areas, about half the country, and at least 200 were estimated in the rest of the country. Cerolo also said that one out of every 10 marriages in Spain was between same-sex couples. According to FELGT, about 4,500 same-sex couples married during the first year of the law, 50 adoption petitions were made, and three divorces were granted. On June 27, 2007, the Ministry of Justice announced 3,340 same-sex marriages had taken place in the last two years. It admitted, however, that the number could be, quote, a third part of reality, end quote, as the data included only came from the 356 computerized registries and did not include the data from more than 7,000 peace courts or from the Basque Country. The Ministry of Justice went on to say that 2,375 of the marriages were between men and 965 were between women. Madrid was the region with the most weddings, with 1,060, followed by Catalonia with 871. 
Andalusia with 399, and the Valencian community with 266. The Balearic Islands registered 116 same-sex marriages, Asturias 101, Castile and Leon 89, Aragon 86, the Canary Islands 83, the region of Murcia 61, and Castile-La Mancha 56, Extremadura 54, Galicia 31, Cantabria 28, Navarre 25, and La Rioja 13. Section 6. See also. This section includes a list of other Wikipedia articles where you can find additional information regarding the subject matter of this article. Article 1 is titled Civil Unions in Spain. Article 2 is titled Gay Rights in Spain. Article 3 is titled LGBT Rights by Country. Section 7. References. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 8. External Links This section includes a list of external websites where you can find additional information on the subject matter of this article. External link number 1 is titled CIS Barometer from June 2004. It is an Adobe Acrobat file showing 66.2% support for gay marriage, and it is written in the Spanish language. External link number two is titled, Same-Sex Marriage, a Selective Bibliography of the Legal Literature. It includes the Spanish case. External link three is titled, Web Page of a Known Activist Supporter of the Law that Includes Diary of Events Towards Legalization. External link number four is titled Spain Recognizes UK Civil Partnership, and it was a press release on December 13, 2007. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.